Hey guys, today's our topic is parallel activity and the condition. This condition is such an important option in the property panel of parallel activity. Many of us would be searching on the internet to really understand what is the use of it. This condition, you may call it as a completion condition or you can call it as a cancellation condition. What do I mean by that? I am going to explain with proper example. So let's get started. So first of all, for the parallel activity, we will create a very simple branch. So let me create a very simple branch. So this is the branch number one or the sequence number one, which contains several right line activities and it is writing 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 till 1.5. Similar way, I'm going to create two more branches, sequence two having 2.1, 2.2 till 2.5. Similar way, I'm going to create a sequence three 3.1, 3.2 until 3.5. So how many branches I have created? I have created three different branches. Okay. Now once you have these branches created, for us to understand the parallel activity, what I am going to do, I am going to start run this particular activity. Okay. So if you run this activity and go back and go to the output, what happened? In the first one, you saw 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, it has printed, then it has printed 1.5, then it has printed 1.4, 2.1. If you look at my output, this could be different for you. So what you do, run it some two to three times. If it sometimes what would happen, the output would appear as if it has printed in a sequence way. Okay, but if you go back and do it, so now you can see it has it appears like it has printed in the sequence way, right? No, so there is a big difference 3.1, 3.2. So what is happening if you do it for two to three times, you would see the output how is being printed. Always run it, okay? Do not do a debug. If you do a debug, then the results would always be in a sequential manner because it will try to debug in a sequential order. So try to always run it. So when you run it, if you see until this, this is a sequence, and then this is a sequence, but this one, if you see, there is a difference. So what is this? Why it is happening? Because this is a parallel activity and the parallel activity, if you highlight this activity, it tells you it always run in a asynchronous mode. What is asynchronous and synchronous? Synchronous means it will always follow the sequential order. So this activity will not start until the previous one is completed. Once this is completed, it will go to the second one. But in an asynchronous mode, in, in from the three branches, it can pick any activity in any order. It doesn't matter which order. It will just pick any activity which it finds. It will immediately pick that and start executing. Okay, it can run in any order. So that is what is happening, right? You can see it has printed 3.1 and it will differ every time. If you run it again, again the output would differ. So this is an example of asynchronous way of running it. So I have run it again. Now, if you look at, there could be slightly a different output we might see. See, 3.2 it has printed, then 3.3. It could happen anywhere. If you run it some three, four, five times, you will see the difference. So we got it. Now, what is happening at the end? All of this are getting executed, right? All the right line activities got executed, in, including 3.5. Now, if you put a delay activity, let's say I'm going to put a delay activity over here. Okay, and in the delay activity, I'm going to put some three seconds. Okay, if you put a three seconds here and try to run it, always run it. Okay, do not debug, run it. So if you try to run it, let's go back. Okay, so now you see it has printed 1.1, 1.2 and after because of the delay, so it did not want to wait for the delay, it has picked some other activities. 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 4, 5, then 3.2, 3.3. So there is, it is not following any sequence in any order it is doing. Then at the end it has printed 1.3, 1.4, 1.5. 1 so this must be clear. Now Rakesh, okay, this I understood how it is, it, it is pink, picking the activities from all the three branches in any order, which is called asynchronous mode. I have learned. But tell me what is the use of, I'm del deleting that delay for the moment. What is the use of condition? What is that condition? So I told you this condition is also known as completion condition or a cancellation condition, you can call it. So why I am calling this in, in that way? 
so for example in this condition you can put any kind of a condition but it is a boolean kind of a value let's say i am going to say true the true use of this condition so if you are putting a true condition over here or you are writing true is a boolean one so you can write any uh, a equals to status equals to true or you know depending on various variables you can use it in any format but if you let's say i am mentioning true it's a big, it will take only boolean kind of a variable uh, boolean kind of a data uh, so the status is equal to true or status is greater than uh, counter is greater than 5 if that becomes true then it will execute that is the meaning so if you are writing true over here what exactly happens most of us will not know about it and most of us might have already searched on the internet so let me tell you how it works let's say if i have set true so generally we have seen if you without mentioning any condition if you run it what output you have seen it is printing all the values right it is printing all the values in any order but it is printing all the values it is executing all the activities so when i am setting this property as true and if i run it run it do not debug run it okay so what output will come what is the output 1.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 1.5 and then it did not print the branch number 2 it did not print the branch number 3 why is it happening that is why i told you this is called completion condition so what it does it it checks which sequence to pick so it generally runs uh, it picks the left one first so it has picked the left one and then it has completed so once any branch is completed it will stop so generally if you don't use that property if you do not use this parallel property it will run it is executing all the branches in the parallel way we have seen it is running in the asynchronous way the exact word is asynchronous way okay it runs in the asynchronous way but the moment you put a true condition what it does it still runs in a asynchronous way but it see it sees while it is running it sees if any of one of the branch is completed then it cancels all the rest of the branches does not matter how many branches you have it will only execute one branch and will cancel all other branches for example so this could be confusing for example you are booking a ticket you are booking a ticket from site a site b and site c so you have booked the ticket in all the sites at the same time the bot has gone to all the sites and started booking it let's say the site a responded very fast and the ticket is booked the ticket is booked so do you want to book another ticket the same ticket from site b and site c no right you wanted to cancel it you getting my point so this is the practical business scenario where you wanted to try with all the available options but once one of the branch is successful you would like to cancel all of the branches so this is the condition where we will be using this parallel activity and i'm going to come up with a video so let me show this demonstration as i promised so for example i am going to let's say just imagine this is a branch which is booking a site going to that site and clicking on various options and trying to book something and there is a let's say there is a delay in this particular site let's say um the sequence one itself has a delay so let's say i'm saying delay of 3 seconds so it takes little more time to execute all of it but the sequence two and sequence three is normal okay so what would happen now because there is a delay it will start from here because of delay it will move to sequence 2 or sequence 3 it can move to anything and then if it finds this has completed the activity this will cancel all the rest of the activities so if we run it so this understanding should be very very clear okay so i am trying to help you to understand but only when you experiment you will get to know so what happened in the sequence 1 1.1 got printed 1.2 got printed and then it it went to sequence 2 okay and the sequence 2 it it printed all the values uh, 2.1 2.2 in any order but 2.1 2.2 uh, 2.3 2.4 2.5 okay it it has gone there and completed this activity it has completed the activity and then it has cancelled the branch 1 and branch 2 uh, branch 1 the sequence 1 and the sequence 3 it has cancelled so remember anywhere or any kind of a place 
so you will say rakesh while booking a ticket uh, if it does it does not follow that order it uh, does it in any different way then you cannot book the ticket you are right you cannot book the ticket in this kind of a fashion it has printed 2. Dot, so if you look at it 2.1 2.2 uh, then it has printed 2.5 it does in this kind of a manner within the parallel then it will be a problem so there is a way to do it i am going to show in the next video how to do this using the parallel activity but here my main agenda agenda was to tell you the importance of this property the completion condition property what is does it it only completes any one branch so the moment one branch is completed rest of the branches is cancelled that you should remember so if you set the condition value to true by any means if you if that the condition become true or you are writing true there what would happen it executes one branch and cancels rest of the branch so one branch whichever branch it could be so one branch is once it is completed once it finds one branch has been completed it cancels rest of the branches okay so this is what your understanding should be so experiment yourself try it do not think it is a simple condition and imagine all everything would run no it won't run so this is what you should learn and you are much interested now how you will be booking a ticket show us that example i am going to show that example in the upcoming video for that we will be using one more activity along with that that is known as cancellation scope with that i am going to design it so i am going to talk about it so thank you so much guys i hope uh, this amount of knowledge um, you may not find it anywhere else so thank you for connecting with export channel please do subscribe and please do watch the contents that we have on our video section there are so many videos if you are a newbie and you would like to learn um, ui path you can go down and start from the uh, the very first activity by going down and then continue or you would like to choose a specific topic go to the playlist choose a specific topic where you would like to start if you are a very beginner start with the learn variable data types and then keep going okay if you keep going it will become very very easy for you to learn almost all the topics you know pretty fast away so thank you so much guys we'll meet again in our next video take care bye bye